Hey guys, um, so I am doing a, I have a whirlwind weekend plan for my hair. <laughs> I'm going to do a henna treatment, but um, because you have to leave henna in overnight and I have such a busy schedule, I have to do it over days. So tonight is, is Thursday night. I'm going to wash my hair tonight um, because you have to do henna on clean hair. So I'm going to wash my hair tonight. I'm going to just wear my hair probably in a puff or something tomorrow, which is Friday. Friday night, I'm going to put the henna in and then rinse it out, keep it in overnight, rinse it out on Saturday, and then deep treat, steam, and then style my hair on Saturday. So, I wanted to show you really quickly, I've been wearing my hair, um, and I'll post some pictures, but I've been wearing my hair in a twist out using Kinky Curly, which... I absolutely have fallen in love with. Basically, I put the kinky curly in the same way they tell you to apply it, break it through, whatever, and then I twist my hair in sections. So I have about 20 twists, and then I let that stay in overnight. I take it out, and it's so defined and so like great looking. So I've been wearing my hair like that for the last um, probably two weeks or so. Like each night, I'll you know retwist my hair, and when I say I washed it um, last week, and there, it, my, my hair hardly tangled at all. It was so easy to get my hands through, to get my comb through. So I'm loving this method, and it's retwisting it every night, applying a little bit more of the um, product onto damp hair before twisting it, but, you know, you get the gist. So anyway, like I said, I'll post some pictures. Um, but I wanted to show you quickly, I've sprayed my hair down with water and um, conditioner mix because I'm about to shampoo it. So I did a pre-poo basically with conditioner and water. But it's still so defined. So like even though I just sprayed my hair, usually my hair would just turn into like a little cloud. But because of the kinky curly, it's really defined. It's great. So I've sprayed it down. I'm going to put on my plastic cap um, and let that sit on my hair probably for at least an hour. I have some things to do around the house. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to wash my hair. Um, I'll come back after I've washed it to show you and then, like I said, tomorrow I will continue with the henna. And then Saturday, deep treatment and all that other stuff. Take care. Or stay tuned, rather. Hey, guys. Okay, don't be mad at me. I did, it's two days later, and I did do the henna treatment. But I forgot that I was supposed to show you guys, like, the video of me before I rinsed it out. So I've already rinsed my hair out. I'm sorry. I forgot. It's been a hectic day. But anyway, um, so I've already, I did the henna treatment. I let it sit in overnight. I just rinsed it out of my hair. And I already applied my deep conditioner. I'm going to sit under my steamer with this in my hair for probably about 25 minutes or so. Um, if you don't have a steamer, if you don't do like a heat, with your deep deep treatment, just leave it on for like an hour. Um, when you henna, you have to do a deep treatment afterwards or else your hair will be dry and very hard and brittle. But anyway, so right now, it's still a little bit hard, but I have not sat underneath the steamer yet. So, like I said, I have the deep conditioner in. I'm going to go sit under my steamer now and I'm holding my computer that's why it's shaky sorry so anyway this is the um, the head part of the steamer and then this is the part where the water goes in so like I said I'm gonna sit under this for like 20 minutes I can't get that straight okay sit under this for like 20 minutes and then um, I'll come back with style See you later. Okay, I'm back. So my hair is now completely um, conditioned. I've sat under my steamer for 20 minutes. I've rinsed out the deep conditioner. I have put in um, some leave-in. And I use um, Kinky Curly, not today, but the last... When I went to get some more from Whole Foods, they were out, and they had the kids version, the, the kids line, which is Tiny Twirls. It's the same same conditioner. 
Um, so if you do use Not Today and you go and they don't have Not Today anymore and they have the tiny twirls, you can use that detangling conditioner as well. So I've put some in my hair already. But what I'm also doing, I have a little bit of um, Kimmy Tubes leave-in left over. And her leave-in also uses Not Today as the base for her leave-in. So I, I have a little bit of that left because I made some the other day. So I'm just going to use that on my ends and just kind of make sure that that, you know, gets on my hair. And that I have in just a regular container. So I only have a little bit left, so I'm just going to use that up. So basically what I'm doing is putting in the leave-in, going, sure, going through and making sure that the section of hair is detangled. I'm going to add a little bit more water to that. And then I'm going to take my Kinky Curly. I have about that much for this little section of hair and I'm going to apply the Kinky Curly to my hair. And I do the rake and smooth method. So basically one hand I'm using like a comb and I'm pulling it through and then my other hand I'm just going back over it and smoothing it out. And as I do that you'll start to see the curls start to define. I'm going to use a little bit more on my ends. And I guess I could have told you guys I'm basically doing a twist out with Kinky Curly <laughs> again. Um, so I want to make sure that all of the hair is completely coated with the product, but not too much product because then it'll get flaky and it'll start doing some crazy things. So basically, there you go. I'm going to, I don't know if I need to trim or what, but my ends are starting to do some strange things. So I'm going to go back in with my Denman once I have the product in, just to make sure that the ends are. are good. And then once I have it in, I'm just going to twist it like, I'm, like I would regularly. When I get to the end, I'm going to just coil it and then I'm going to smooth down to take off the excess product. So there you go. Another one just to show you. And I'm doing relatively small sections of hair. My hair doesn't do well yet with big twists. Um, it's not long enough yet. I like small twists still so for now we'll keep doing small twists. I just woke up from a nap so I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> I'm a little, still a little groggy. That's why my voice sounds the way it does. Alright so I have another section of hair. About that much hair. And because I was sleeping my hair is dry it's kind of dry now so I'm gonna go back in with just plain water and I'm gonna wet down each section I've already put leave-in in my hair so adding the water is just gonna pretty much reactivate the leave-in and I did like I said I use the tiny twirls and then what I'm gonna do is go back in on my ends on each section and use the Kimmy tube um, leave-in on the ends Slowly detangle each section. Okay. Get that out of the way. All right. So that section is detangled. I'm going to take a little bit of the leave-in and just put it on my ends so that they have a little bit of extra 
moisture on them. And you can look at her channel to get the recipe for the leave-in, but basically it's the whatever creamy leave-in conditioner, whatever creamy conditioner you use. Um, I use the Not Today. I do like that conditioner anyway, but that's the one that she also uses in the in the recipe. Aloe vera juice, um, castor oil, and jojoba oil is the recipe for the leave-in. Now I'm going to go back. And in case you don't know what I'm using, sorry, kinky curly curling custard. Taking a little on my hand, I'm going in, I'm raking it through that section. And one of the things, if you use this product, you know your hair needs to be wet. Um, so that's also why I'm going in and respraying each section before I because my hair is not completely dry, it's still damp, but with kinky curly, your hair is supposed to be dripping wet. You see how it just kind of forms, it separates the curls. I'm going to do a little bit more on my ends. I'm going to make sure it's completely distributed. And then I'm just going to twist that section.